What is good guys, we're going to be using Mega DNC. Uh, all Megas are out of the team that passed me by a subscriber, so shout out to you. Um, it's really late at night, so if I sound very weird or something, I gotta be a bit quiet. And yeah, this team... We have Zenapa on top of Bulu, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, it can help us Venusaur, but in other matchups... Um, I would like to have a different move. Like, Woodhammer could be nice, or Leech it could be nice, but we shall see how it goes. I haven't used this team yet, but I just wanted something that, um, like, that fits my playstyle, and I wanted to um, showcase the Yancy, obviously, because um, it's out now. Mm. I'm on my ulti account, I'm like 1624 at the moment, I haven't let out that much, I've also been getting hacks a bit, so yeah, I'm probably not going to qualify. We'll see if we can get at least get near um, a bit more close to the 1700s this episode. Um, so Gianzi looks uh, not not Gianzi. Mention looks a bit annoying for sure, especially if he has bullet punch. But yeah, I'm gonna just leave with Landris here. Yeah, he, mm, he might leave with his own Landris. So how do I predict that? Hmm. Let me just analyze this guy's team before I make a play and then regret it. So this is probably Bandit or Life or um, this could be GTZ move or this could be Z move. I think this should be defensive, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I want to leave with Tabu Bulu. Can we get that correct? Like I was kind of pretty him to leave with Landris, and I don't think he Z moves Landris. I think, like I'm not sure. But. Mm, I'll probably up plus two, there's a lot to Celestia, but it doesn't kill, so he's probably just gonna go out to Celestia. Which makes me want to double the heat turn here. Yeah, if he does anything other than Celestia, this guy is a wild. He just tries to suck his Tabu Fini turn one. Okay. Okay, dude, like. <laughs> well, I already know this is gonna be it. This game is not gonna be fun. I'm already getting impatient now because I shouldn't go hard bulu in case he has scald because I can get burned. That was already a bad play on my part but like I don't get why he would ever stay in there like what? So we're gonna double again to heat turn here predicting his Celestilla. Uh, he goes oh what the fuck is this guy doing? So we're gonna stay in now because we have the grassy terrain and I'm just gonna map my storm with some damage on this. And he knocks. That sucks. But if you can connect on Magma Storm, he's dead. This would be amazing to get rid of the Landris. Nice. Um, thankfully, we still have Grace Turing, so even though we got rid of our lefties, we still have some recovery. I think I could have left it off quick with Grace Turing. I'm not sure, but like he uh, he made those weird plays and that put me in an awkward position, so I felt like I had to play a bit aggressive there. But yeah, we have no good switches to manage him. Um, I'll probably just go hard Landris here. If he goes for Ice Punch, a good play. I'm a Scarf Lando, so um, it's important for speed control. But yeah, I figured he would go for Ice Jump Kick. And I can just click U turn here. I can also go for Rocks. Um, yeah, I want to go for Rocks, honestly. Um, for that wee while. Now I think Hutton is still a better play in case he stays in. He goes top of Fini. So if I went for Roxy he would have defogged anyway, so it's like the same situation. And I'll just go top of Bulu here and SD. Mm, or what else can I do? Yeah, I think the Bulu is my only play. So I kept doubling earlier. So I think I'm just gonna go for Horn Leech because this guy is playing so awkward, like, I want to predict this Celeste on double again, but yeah, this guy just makes no sense with his play, so I'm just going to kill this type of thing. Crit might have mattered, I don't really care, because, like, your plays make no sense, like, like, what are you doing? Unless he's, like, unless he knows that this is me and he's trying to play aggressive for no reason, I don't know. Um, we have a fist of Celeste Toxapex is also yeah, Toxapex is also quite fist dev. It's mixed defensive, but it's more fist dev. So Toxapex should be my best play here. Um I don't need my shot shield this game, he's banded, I did a fuck load. He doesn't have a doggy. Um yeah, doggy through the over central I think, and I've 
I already said this in my last video, and I think Doug is going to get suspected. When OT is over, like the four cycles are over. Like, I don't know an exact date, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty soon after the four cycles, it's going to get suspected. Um, I can get up a teeth work here, because it helps me with the Medicham and the... It helps me with the Medicham and the Zygarde. As I don't... Hmm, he goes hard Medicham, I should, maybe I should have scalded. Um, now he could go for... Then I better Ice Punch. I'm gonna pretty much go for Ice Punch here, stay in and go for Scald. Because last time I went hard into Landris, so I just knew he would over predict this turn. Um, I think he's gonna Ice Punch again. So we're gonna Scald here. He goes for High Jump Kick, okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna go Landris now, even though it's probably not the play. Uh, Melanus is not necessary to win this game. Yeah, he just makes that play. And I can just go for a turn here. Oh, actually, I can go for rocks. He doesn't have highlight control. Yeah, I'm gonna go for rocks. Sack of Melanus, like, it's fine. He had Zenith, but so I don't know why he didn't click Zenith, but. It's like, what was he pretty doing with Hedgehog Kick? I don't get it. Mm. I got Yancy here. If he has Bullet Punch, it's gonna be so bad. Mm, we can just click Blast here because if we go Celesteela we get to figure out uh, if he's Spadef. He's probably going to be Spadef, yeah. So like I could have doubled there but I don't really think I have to make any predictions. So that did a good chunk at a 29. Uh, oh yeah, I'm on bed in the, the moment. I'm on a slow net. So I'm not sure if I can even calc. So that did a good amount, 29. Let me pause it real quick and calc. Yeah, I think he's offensive. He should be offensive. So I'm gonna go turn here if he has earthquake. Hmm, that's gonna be bad. Maybe still he does the better play. Actually, I don't need heat turn for anything else. So I'm gonna go heat turn. I'm lagging a bit. So he doubles out into manager, which is a good play. But it doesn't really matter because he has to take um, rocks and poison damage. And I think Toxapex is not necessary to win this game or Celestila. Mm, I think I can set my Toxapex, yeah. And he goes for, yeah, okay, makes a nice prediction there. I don't think he had to make that. But he takes some less chip damage, and now we can go to this and. Um, we can Calico I don't know if it should be fine, I should turn the A to a Medicham. A max special attack. If this doesn't kill, yeah, okay, like I predicted his Celestia, but I think HP5 also would have killed the, the Medicham. So if we get rid of his Celestia, um, I could have just Moonblasted because I would have um, tweet killed it. So that was an unnecessary play, I just realized. Um, yeah, that was, not a, that was a misplay, but it's fine. Um, if he clicks. I think Celestia does my play here. If she clicks knockoff, I can live too because I'm face dead. And if she click crash, they had a free switch in the heat turn. Like, I just have one more sec than him, so I don't really have to make any predictions at this point. I think I can just heavy slam here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just heavy slam. He just forfeits, okay. So, like, if he went into Zygarde there. He just had to take poison, which just put chip on him, and I have Bulu to check him. So I need Iron Tail, and he had to be like an Iron Tail DD Zyga to, to beat me, but the poison probably would have um, worn him down too fast. So we're 16 39, let me get another one. Mm. Okay, okay, so we get um, kind of bulky team. Let me check this guy's rank. Looks like uh, like an Auras team with a with a Toxapex. Okay, Greninja was also banned at one point in Auras. So I'm thinking he would lead with um, like he has so many potential leads. I don't really know. Like he has could lead with one of those five. So what matches have the best with all of these? Actually, he probably wants to lead something that beats the NC. So if he scarf Greninja. Thinking this could be Scarf Run. Hmm. I think 
Landers is overall still a good matchup, yeah. So he hits with Toxic Packs. I just hope he doesn't burn me turn one. Mm, she doesn't have highlight control, so I kinda wanna get on rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna get my rocks because like I said he doesn't have any headlight control. So if she burns me here, it's gonna be really bad. Thankfully no burn. And uh, now I can just go my uh Celsia. Uh, I'm in Toxapex. Goes Lando. So he predicted me to go for Earthquake, yeah. He doesn't know that I was Scarf Lando. So since I'm fist staff I can stay in here and fish for skull burn. He's either gonna go for rocks, earthquake, or switch up into clefts. I think skull is overall fine. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So you did uh, seven percent. I'm gonna calc if he's offensive now. Uh, Landris. Let's say uh, defensive versus uh, Toxapex, uh, custom set. You think this? Yeah, okay, so it could be defensive. Oh, you did a bit more than the max roll. So um, you could be offensive too. Yeah, I'm thinking he's offensive probably then. Like, let me, let me just make this max attack. Yeah, so if it makes attacks, it, it would have been a lower. So this is probably his rocker, or it's gonna be a call my knockoff set or something like that. Even though I haven't seen that in a while. So if he has knockoff, it's gonna be super annoying. I think what I can do here is go into my um Yancy and click off power. And um, it's probably not the best play, but I want the Yancy to shine and put in work. And yeah, and I just want to off power here, but I think it's toxic pigs. Okay, he stays in. I don't like his play at all. Like, that's a bad play. So we're gonna Moonblast now. He's probably gonna switch into packs now and make me look like a fool, but what can I do? See, that does 55. So I don't know why he was trying to sack his Call Fable for no reason. I'm just off power here. If he goes Landris, um, he got me good, but no one goes to Landris on a DNC. If I Moonblast, you get blown away. So we got rid of his Clef, which is nice, but the problem is my DNC dies to rocks now, and I don't have hazard removal. Um, yeah, like I said, I could have led with this. Because he, he led with Pax. Pax is pretty weak, so Skull wouldn't have done much. Um, so there's probably Scarf Train. I mean, I died to rocks anyway. So he made that, he just took unnecessary rocks damage, that was a really bad play on his part, I don't know what the fuck that accomplished, he just took rocks on Yhidran for no reason, so congratulations. Um, this is probably Scarf, Landorus. Let's just Yhidran to the DNC. And Yhidran killed the Kiki. Okay, I'm just clicking blast. Like, I didn't really have a play. I mean, I could have kept this as 4, but like, I don't really see the point because if I switch, you get the momentum anyway. And this way, I just get to go into my Celestia and T should switch into Toxapex or Heatran here. And I just leave C for now, he stays in for no reason. Um, oh fuck, he got me. So that was... Hmm. The play worked out for him, so I'm not gonna say anything, but I don't like that play, because if I heavy slam there, you take so much damage on your guard wall. So, his heat turn is... Potentially Z-move, because he doesn't have leftovers. Hmm. I still think Toxapex is my best play here. He does the same. So we're probably gonna exchange T spikes and spam scald. He goes hard god of okay. Um yeah, Celsius is still my best play. And he had to focus blast. This guy's lucky, what the fuck? So we're hopefully gonna connect the leash seed here. Who stays in? I don't get this guy at all. Like what? 
Like, what? Okay, these people on the 69s are insane. I might lose. I don't get why it would take his thing. Okay, gotta get double protect there. Lucky and bad coming through. Why are you saying LMAO? Shut the fuck up, you hit every single focus blast. Like, what? Um, like, what? Hitting three focus blasts is probably a lot. Way like, the chance of hitting three focus blasts is way low than getting double protect, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I don't know what this kid is talking about. Kind of mad, right? <laughs> Nothing against that point, but I don't get it. But yeah, I'm gonna go land right here and click HP eyes. Mm, actually, U-turn is my better play. Yeah, U-turn is my better play if, if he stays in, yeah. See, I knew he would make that play, but it was too risky. This guy has already shown that he's insane, so like, I don't know how to predict these play players. Um, this should be Scarf, right? So, you can go to this and we can click. Um, I want to super power break in the heat trend, but... If he goes packs, I look like a noob, so I'm gonna SD break in his U-turn into Toxic packs. Because if I super power into his packs, it just doesn't... Yeah, because he wants to absorb the T-spikes. And now we can click Zenhab Bard, because I don't know if Hornwich killed. And he might not see it coming. And he... That does... That did nothing! What the fuck? This one is trash. He's max, he's max defense, I think. Some Horn Leech here. Get rid of his packs, get some health back. Um, so now I can try to get up a T-Spike, but T-Spike only hits these two months, and God, I was pretty much dead already. So yeah, hmm. Miss Garflander probably has a chance to win if he's not bought a shooting good ninja. I just have to get rid of his guard of, uh, of his own landers, what I meant. Or, like, I have to try to snipe his landers on a switch. So Hyperwise probably picks off my top blue. Otherwise, he wouldn't send this out. Um, top blue. Pretty sure I don't have bulk, but let me just click on custom set. Uh, Hyperwise should kill, right? I assume he's timid, so I'm just gonna change the nature. 78 min. Okay. If I go Heatran, do I need my Heatran in this game? So I go Heatran and he has to hit another Focus Blast, so he already hit 3, so I can try to play the odds. <clears throat> I kinda wanna make that play. Because I have Grace Turn and Lefties to heal for one turn. And how much does off power do? I have no special attack on this right. I might have to hit a memory storm. Yeah, I think I kind of misplayed this game. Off power is 22 to 27, so I'm just gonna go for off power. As he hits 4 focus blasts out of 4. Like, who the fuck hits 4 focus blasts? But it's fine because Gatorwood is gone. Gatorwood is so much worse as me. Um, this could be Ash. I don't want to give him this Ash, so I'm gonna go Pex here. I'm not having Black Sludge. Sucks. Like, I was talking about Dougie earlier. This is why Dougie has to go so I can run Black Sludge on my Pex again. But yeah, this is uh, potentially a roll, but... I'm gonna go Bulu. That is so fucking... Is this guy modest or something? Like, what? Like, what? I think we need just uh, like one of three attack before it's ash form. Dark puts us 42 to 49. Oh, well, that's not. This is type of blue. Sorry. Yeah, okay, so that was either a max roll or he's modest. I kind of lose to Ashgren. Probably shouldn't have gone hard into this. But yeah, um. I think I have to give him the ash form now, like what am I supposed to do? And I'm just gonna land this here and uh, click him power eyes. Mm, 
Do I lose anything from you turn? I'm you turning. I don't trust this guy. What the fuck? Yeah, I think I lose anyway. So I need toxic spikes for for his Greninja. So he hits a Magma Storm. He thinks I'm trapped now, so he's gonna outpour so I can go into my land with here. Uh, I could have set my heat turn to prevent him from getting the Ash Form. That was a misplay. That was a misplay. I'm gonna HP IC and snipe his Landris on the switch. Watch this, guys. It's lit. I still got it. I misplay this game, but we, we still got to be coming back. Um, I might lose to Ash Grand, though. Nah, I'm fine, because if he locks himself into Water Shriek, I still have my picks. And if he goes for Dark Pulse... Um, I think I've set my Heatron here. He goes for Water Shriek, so I can go packs now. And I can Scald... The incoming Heatron. Well, I can double. I can double into my Lando here. I'm just gonna scold though. Doubling to Lando might be the play. Because then I get a guaranteed kill with oh yeah see, but in case he's retarded like that, that's why I didn't want to double. Because yeah, now he's been just super low. I don't know why he decided to make that play. But yeah, that's why I didn't double. This guy is showing that he's insane. I'm gonna scold here. We do dodge. I don't feel bad. This guy hit four uh, focus blasts. Like I can't even say GG. I'm I'm locked because my friends, my friends. Um, I was on an alt ladder with friends, not on this account, obviously, because this is my ulti account. I'm not that wild. I'm not trying to get too bad. I don't know why I'm playing so weird teams. Maybe it's because it's 5 a.m. here. It get this is why it sucks. I can't say I have fun back because my friends got me locked. We were shit, they were shit talking wish killer. <laughs> I'll show you guys the screenshot maybe later. I don't know if I want to do that. But yeah, we played some wish killer alt and they were shit talking him and then we all got locked because we were all in the same alt. But this guy's a really interesting team. I'm super, super curious what his rank is. Mm. Yeah, the last guy didn't probably have that many points. Because, okay, this guy's 1630 is a problem. Like, I didn't really get that many points from the last guy. 1658. Man, I need so many points. I need like. 2000 at the moment to be in top 8, I think, for ulti, and it's gonna go even higher. Um, so, Mega Terra is definitely cool to see. This could be Bandit on Z move, um, but I think Z move could also be on this or this. And here's a role which is interesting in a Zygarde meta game, but I don't really see the purpose of that. So, like, if he has any common sense, this has to be defensive land or defensive. This to switch to Bandit Thousand Arrows because otherwise his entire team gets shredded by Thousand Arrows. Like I'm just trying to um, see his team structure thing. Um, but yeah, I think Tapu Brut is a good lead overall. Um, Toxapex also good. Yeah, yeah T Spikes is nice in this matchup. I just want a T Spike up. Like I don't really care if he goes for Offbreak turn one. I just want a T Spike for. Oh, T Spike only hits Beware. But it hits Alteria after you make a wolf, so that's something. <laughs> For some reason I thought T Spike hits more on his team. So I think Scout might be the better play. If I had Toxic I would go for it breathing his Rodon. I would definitely go for that. Mm. He crits me, that sucks a fuck load. So I could get a burn here, but that's not justice in Pokemon. I'm gonna go Bulu here. I can see a U turn from his side coming. I wanna stay in on the U turn so badly because thankfully I decided to not stay in. And we know he's lefty, so he's only switching his subtle steer, so we're gonna calc. That's a Bulu custom set. Subtle stealer, oh, he's the dev. If he is the dev, how much does a plus two Z move do? So plus two superpower kills. Oh, I'm Jolly. So that was adamant. Yeah, I think Jolly is better in this manner. Well, it only kills him if he's spadaf, but we don't know that yet. And he could also go Jirachi here. Um, I 
Uh, I'm just SD in K. Oh, what? I'm fast. I thought I was slower for some reason. That was a misplay. Yeah, okay, I misplayed that. Because now he already knows that I went for SD and he can just go into the one that is faster. Like, I don't know if it's Jirachi Scarf or if his SSD has offenses. I think he could be. Mm. Like, at first I thought he was even Jirachi, I'm not sure anymore. But yeah, this was not the play. I should have just gone for Horn Leech. I'm gonna assume he's gonna go for, like, Iron Head here. Um, I think he turned out my best play. He just goes for Iron Head, okay. So. I can go for Sub here. I can also just Heart Toxic. But I don't lose anything from clicking Substitute because. I have leftovers and grass too and healing me. So it should be fine. Like the Rotom is super obvious there, but like I still felt like super conf like I feel more confident like I'm in just a good position. Like just subbing first is I think was the play. That forced him to hit a pump kinda. Since I'm i I'm fast which is really nice, but he might just volt switch here. Um, I think I want to sub again. Just wear down his room by the poisonous. Yeah, that's, that's. I don't think that mattered. She yeah, max HP on the Citrin. That might have mattered. I'm gonna be super pissed if that mattered. Now uh, you don't custom set. I'm not max HP, but like I have HP in this. Mm -mm. Yeah, that definitely fucking mattered. So that sucks. So I would have had a Citron behind a substitute and this guy would have been screwed. But yeah, this game doesn't like me. I know I also get some hacks, but I think it was a little bit hacked, more hacks against me. Like I got a prote double protect earlier with this guy. I was like I was complaining even though he was like hitting every single focus blast. But yeah, I'm just going into Celestila, there's no way I'm sacking my heat turn. Um he's probably gonna heat turn here. Yeah, but like I can't afford to risk my heat turn. <laughs> Not on that turn. Like I know earlier was the other guy with my turn, but that guy was wild. So he goes beware, I'm gonna protect you to get some poison. If he's like some bulk upset, I'm gonna be potentially bad position. Um I'm gonna go Pex here, I think he's banded. I kinda wanna go into my uh, Landris. But what if he's Ice Punch? I don't know any information yet, it should be banded, that's like the only set that's used on Beware. So I want I should have cancelled and gone land rest. Oh my god he crit! Come the fuck on! These, these fucking people dude uh, Dude, this game is so AIDS. But yeah I'm gonna go Diancy here and uh, click HP fire. If he stays in, you got me, congratulations, I'm clicking X. But yeah, he should switch. Um, he's with the after that nothing. Is that a, that's a salt vest? He's a salt vest, that's still a, um, So I think my heat turn. No, he might have off click. So I'm gonna go my own cell here. Yeah, I kinda wanna go heat turn. But I'm feeling the off click exactly. He does have off click. So now he's either gonna go for a fire move or for um, switch. For a switch, but I don't think I lose anything from leeching. Yeah, yeah that, this is fine. And I kind of want to double leech here, putting a protect, but I don't have to make that play. I want to put it to double and double leech seed, but yeah, this guy stays in, so thankfully I didn't double. So I'm gonna just heavy slam here, get my beast loose if he stays in. I think he's banded. Yeah, he's banded and he crits. This is so annoying, dude. My Toxivex wouldn't have died to... My Pox Toxivex definitely wouldn't have died. I kinda wanna go hard Landris here. Damn, dude, this sucks so much. I'm just gonna leech here. Um, it's gonna do a lot. Okay, never mind, I did nothing. I forgot that I'm mixed defensive. I'm more fistive, but like, I have some spit off. Because the other day, um, I had a game with a subscriber, I wasn't recording, and I choked. I thought my stuff that I could eat up the. I thought my stuff that I could eat up. I'm just gonna protect, I'm not risking anything. 
These switches are still the leftovers, yeah, exactly, that's fine. This could be the happy hour, so, um, just clicking the cheat. He has fire punch. if he burns me, dude, thank you, no burn. Okay, I'm just protecting now. Um, should have double each cheated, should have double each cheated, misplay on my part. <laughs> this is the problem, like, I was trying to give you guys, like, um, information. I was trying to talk about something else. Uh, I kind of want to go to the NC here, because I can live a Volt Switch. And if he goes for Willowis, I look like a lord. But he might also just go for Hyrule Pump or something. I'm just gonna leech again. Yeah, dude, if I went to Yancy, that would've looked like a god. So I'm gonna double leech here. He should hard switch, exactly. Um, the burn is so annoying, but thanks for the pinning. So what I was trying to say... I had a battle with sub subscriber, I'm just gonna spam leech cheat. And... I'm just gonna protect you. Yeah, I said myself that I needed to win. I'm gonna switch here on the pain split. And it was like at... I think it was at 40 or 50 percent of that to vote switch. And I thought I could eat up, but I was fifth stiff. Um, I wanna go tap the Bulu here. She know. Yeah, I'm gonna go tap the Bulu if he pain splits. That's, oh, he vote switch, okay. So his bottom is low, I can live with that. I definitely didn't play this game optimal, but the crits are so annoying and the... What else? Like, he, I think he double crit me. Crit my packs, my stealer. I don't know if there was other hacks. Oh yeah, I misplayed with my Bulu earlier when I went for SD. I should just attack. Um, I don't know why I went Landorus, because this gives me a free horn leech. So now I get some health back. I'm just hidden power eyes. See, like this doesn't. If I SD, I would have been in a good position. Like I don't really agree with his play, but it worked out. He was hard Altaria. Um, Altaria is a problem. I'm gonna go hard into my scarf land to get the intimidate off. If he's a special set, this can be really annoying. Yeah, he's dragon dance. Um, so we're gonna use an out here because we don't do any damage in grassy terrain. And we're gonna go sell us to that because I think that he probably will have off quake for heatrons. But yeah, this sell us to being burned sucks. I shouldn't have let this guy burn because now Heavy Sim doesn't do shit to Altaria. And you can drain lens up. And my Heavy Slim scout the damage. Since, yeah, since I'm fifth step, I can eat his attack even. Yeah, yeah, I think I beat this one on one. Okay, so if you. Even though I'm burnt, it's just still a fuckload to him. Because he seems to be offensive. And I have a chance to crit him, and he just decides to attack, and it bounces off. And now we get a defense boost. And the burn nerf is really helping us. Like, for us on Celestia, they really appreciate the burn nerf. I can just protect you to get some. Chip. I mean, I think leftovers cancel out the first run of poison, but after that, it wrecks up. And I want to leech here, but if he crits me, dude, I'm gonna kill five bait. I didn't know. Oh, I didn't say. That. I didn't say that. It's like later. Like Sometimes I just have to. Okay, he had a pump pretty Malandras, and he should switch here, so I'm gonna double leech. Exactly. Um, yeah, sometimes I just go insane. I definitely did not mean to kill babies. Oh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm vegan, by the way. I don't know if I should talk about this. Let me just protect here. Go play, go play. Um, so, like, I definitely wouldn't kill a baby. Like, I'm like, I'm like a friend of... Um, I don't know how to describe this. It seems really awkward. I don't know why I started talking about this. But I'm just a really nice person overall. I don't like... Um, like, I would never kill an, like anything, an animal or baby. Like, I don't know why I made that weird... Sometimes I make these weird jokes because I'm in call with people that are wild and they make jokes. And I make wild, jo I make wild jokes myself and I go insane. Uh, but you can just leech it here. Because if you paint a bit, that's fine. Uh, I'll just protect here. Um, I don't want to take the vault switch. If he stays and he dies, but... So, leeching again would be a good play, predicting the switch. But, like, it's not worth it because Masasi is just too important. And I have a defense boost, so like Fire Punch doesn't do any damage, so he has to flinch. 
and he doesn't get it. So I don't know why Zahedba wants to play. Um, I'm just leech spam. I don't know why Zahedba wants to play because oh, I missed. <sighs> but I don't know why he even went for Zahedba, like I said, because it only has like 40% chance to flinch, I think, with Zero and Grace. So in my opinion, um, he should have gone into... I uh, thought Iron Head if he was trying to flinch me. Um, I'm going to Malandrus here because he's not gonna expect it because I never made Malandrus play. I know it's a bad play, but okay, never mind. Even for that, uh, I want to wrap my rocks up. And Scarf Jirachi doesn't beat me because I have a Heatran, so it doesn't matter if I lose my Scarf Landris here. It does switch. I'm gonna go the answer here because no one earthquakes, no one earthquakes on this turn. Might look a bit risky and unnecessary. Oh, I don't think the answer did that much work. Um, I'm just gonna moonblast to get damage from this. Actually, there's a fuck down. Um, I probably should have just pivoted back into like Bulu or Lando or Stila. So go Lando. I have to hit a storm. I don't want to do that. I think. I can just go Bulu here and click Home Leech. Because if he switches um, in the Steeler or Jirachi, I just get some chip damage off. And if he stays in, we get a kill and we get a heal. Uh, like, we got a health back from the Grazy Terrain and Home Leech. And we should win this game even though. That's so awkward, dude. At this time, I swear, it's like uh, 6 a.m. for me. At this time, there's like so many weird people on the ladder. Like, this is like an opponent I would expect to find in the 1400s, but I'm like 1660 and he is too. Um, so I'm just gonna go for Z move here in case I'm faster. I'm jolly, so I should be faster. I'm, I'm pretty sure this just kills. So I like the, I love the new all pummeling animation, so I'm really glad that I got to see it. I don't think I used it yet in this life. So I think it didn't come out perfectly because my internet was lagging, so I don't think you guys saw how it does. Like, this amazing, this new animation looks fire. But I'm just going to hard heat turn here because I got the grass turn and left over it. There was no, that was the last game where I lost my lefties. And he crits me. And hitting Magnus Storm's kind of rough. Sort of flinch chance. But I'm just going to do it anyway. Damn, what does it do so much? Is he banded? We hit a Magnus Storm through the 40% flinch chance. Wow. He said, and hits. Can this guy shut the fuck up? Like, I'm, I only missed one leech seed. But, like, he crit me, like, multiple times early. Like, what? Like, he crit me multiple times. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I just, I get here very heated. Like, I get heated easily sometimes. I'm gonna just sub to um, stall some toxic. And, um, yeah. Um, this guy just said end hits. So, for saying this, you deserve. Um. I'm preserved the 4 0 now because this guy was so annoying and said that. Um, I know it doesn't really like. I didn't have to do this, it was a bad play. Like, I don't really care. GG all caps. I can't even say GG back, like I said, because I'm locked shots to my friends. This shit talk was so funny. Uh, yeah, GG world. One every game is cool, so I'm 1677 now. I can show you guys the ladder real quick. Mm. And I look for all the 4 2 players. Leon is out, he's German, so I really hope he qualifies. But yeah, you guys can see he's number one with 2080 points at the moment. Um, number eight at the moment is Valusa with 2006 points, so I would have to get like 340 points to go to be in the range of places to get qualified at the moment. Um, oh, Pegg, I don't know him a bit, so I hope he qualifies too. Yeah, my mentor are already qualified. Um, thank you guys for watching. So this was Ulti Larry number episode number three, or like short life, however you want to call it. Um, I might do another one with Mega Altaria for sure. Um, I only have one Altaria team. I actually got blunt on the ladder a few days ago, and I played really bad with it. Um, this is the Altaria team that my mom BTB made. Let me just find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this is the DNC team that I made better with. It's also cool, but I haven't tested it enough. It specs Coco plus DNC with nature power to um, blow back stuff like uh, Toxic Bakes and Celestial with nature power turns into T-Bolt and Electric Trim, which is really cool. 
But yeah, what was I trying to say here? We got some meme teams from Eternal and the double use in the 1000 subscriber special. But yeah, this is. Never mind, this is the anti team. Um, I was talking about Altaria. Yeah, I only have this Altaria team that I'm in BTB made. When I said, yeah, when I played Blender and Ladder, I misplayed with this team. I hate phrasing rain, dude. Blender had rain with low ladder. Um, he probably thinks I'm bad now if he knew it was me, but it's whatever. So uh, I might use this team. Um, but I'll probably build a new team with Altaria. It's a pretty cool mega, I feel. The typing is great. You can check Ashgren. Um, there's like a spread that can switch into Bandit 1000 errors from Zyga too. But yeah, shout out to Yuma Man. Um, he also, like, Schemask, he asked me to record with, like, if I would, um, you guys can join my Discord. I don't know if you're in it. My Discord is like, um, Dogwitch, hashtag 5813. You can, like, ask me if you want to join, because I don't think I'm going to drop the link in the description again. Because we already have a lot of people in there, and I don't want everyone to join. And, like, I kind of want to know you before you join at this point, because we have also white people in there, like, my man, sorry, he goes uh, super wild sometimes. And, like, some people might not like that, and they will think what the fuck is your chat what is your discord when they see him because if i'm offline and some people go wild there it seems like weird um my man dennis the man shouts to him he's like the the second admin after me like we have a lot of admins but he's like the main admin after me that is um like keeping it clean there if he's if he's online but the time zones are a thing so you can't always you can always do that thank you for watching um yeah just keep putting the work so shout out to you my man um i actually didn't expect to go undefeated um usually when i like try to win really hard on the ladder I don't always win but when I just chill and don't care sometimes I just get win but like these opponents were not really that hard so I don't know how much that counts for but we had a, we had a fun time and uh, yeah like what I was saying earlier I probably won't qualify like I need so many points for ulti and the cycle ends in two days I think two days two and a half days from now I think um this video probably goes up I hope my internet comes back by the way, I'm slow internet. My internet probably comes back in like 6 hours from now. So this should be up like maybe 4 p.m. my time, which would be like um, 10 in the morning if you if you live in America. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool because I don't think any PokeTuber uploads at that time. I know like AIM uploads at like in the evening. So if you guys need something to watch on the... Oh, it's already Monday, yeah, yeah. I thought it was Sunday. Some reason. Yeah, it's Monday in the morning now. I got something to do now. So thank you for watching. I don't know why I was talking so much at the end. Um, yeah, I will let it a bit more. But what I was trying to say, why I probably won't qualify is, um, I don't really have the patience to keep grinding, and also get a lot of stall on the ladder. And also hex is a thing. Like, if I get like, let's say I get one game. I get a win, it's a really good game, so I make 20, 30 points progress, but the next game I get some really weird semi-stall team, and I either can't break it or I get hexed, and then I just lose all the points, and it just has happened for me, to me like a lot, that I would just lose the points that I gained immediately after, um, I might have to work my place, um, sometimes, yeah, like obviously when you start tilting, then you click buttons too fast without thinking, so it obviously doesn't work anymore, um, but yeah, let me know, um, if you have a Mega Altera team, definitely drop it in the description or join my Discord. Uh, like I said, Dokush5813, hashtag 5813. It's my Discord if you want to contact me. Um, anything else? That's pretty much it. I don't know why I'm rambling so long. Uh, it's probably because I haven't recorded in a while and I, in a while. And I had like some things to get out there. Like I didn't even say anything probably that I meant to say. Um, yeah, if I rewatch this video, I probably I'm like, what the fuck? Why do you sound so weird? Yeah, but I hope I didn't wake anyone up. People are like sleeping like a few meters from me like next room. Yeah, peace out. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And yeah, leave your teams and paintings down below. Or in my Discord if you want me to use them. If I like them, I will use them for sure. I actually didn't test this team, which is like crazy. Because usually I play like from some test games. Unless I'm like really comfortable with the team before I record with it. Um, actually, not always. Uh, the BTB's team also didn't test. Actually, with a lot of teams I don't test. I just realized this. But uh, yeah, I just mix, messed up my outro again. I'm a master of messing up my outro. Um, I also start streaming. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to start streaming. Um, I'll probably use meme teams on stream mainly just to, to chill out with friends. And I'll check. My, my computer is really bad. I hope it can handle streaming. I've tested streaming like uh, one or two times. Didn't go too, too well. But yeah, props to you if you watched the entire thing. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. And... 
to which sign out have a fantastic day and yes it's for the 1000 subscriber special is going to be coming soon and searching for streaming is going to be coming to end goodbye